Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Topps Composite Football. Six box half case, pick your team number three. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Here on a Sunday. Thanks for spending a bit of your Labor Day uh, Sunday with us. For those of you who have a Labor Day weekend. Barry with the Rams. Last spot mojo, there's everybody else. So that little rooftop means Matt won that uh, won that team in the team random that we did a little bit earlier today. It was a team random that unlocked four different breaks, which was pretty nice. So we've been doing some breaks back to back to back. Second half of this case will be coming up in the next video after we're done with this one. I think that should bring us right to the end of the evening. So thanks everybody for making it happen. So we got six boxes on the left side, six boxes on the right side. We'll go one, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. And there's five right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll save this for uh, for uh, the next break. So we'll put those squiggly marks on the side. Kind of hard to see, but they're there. Yeah, Rex asked that question, then he, he must not have liked your answer, Logan. He's just like, stupid Logan. Caleb Williams is gonna be Hall of Famer. You just wait and see. Where's a purse? Logan's more, it's more like a satchel. Indiana Jones has one. Ah, that's, that's right, Logan Rex is at work building a uh, chili display for the fall. He was, uh, he was taking your answer off air, Logan. That's, that's what it was, it's one of those things. Away we go. There's Will Levis to 99. We got Ginter designs in here. So I'm sure you can already tell that there is a sort of Chronicles, Panini Chronicles type vibe to, uh, to the composite. There's Ray Lewis to 275. Got some flashbacks in here. Got some tops chrome black. We got Anthony Munoz to 50. So I kind of like all these different designs here. And here's a DeMarco Murray. There's uh, three autos per box here. We'll do a little autograph recap at the end of this break as well. That's, that's for Dallas and that's for DY and Dallas. Here's a Bryce Young and an Antonio Gates. 
Orange Wave to 25. That'll be for... I was going to say San Diego. It used to be the San Diego, but it's just Chargers now. It's uh, Zach. And the Bolts. The Bryce Young rookie card will go to Carolina. That's from Matt. Another Bryce Young. Anthony Richardson. Let's try to find some numbered cards of those guys. Here's a Peyton Manning to 150. Kurt Warner with some green foil. That's a 250. You're gonna make me look on the backs of the cards for numbers too, huh? Uh, this is to 10, nine out of 10, Devin Hester. Nice. For the Bears. That'll be for Charles. There's Keenan McCardell. Remember him? Jaguars, that's going to go to uh, Joe, Joe Lawson. I want winners. I want players that want to win. Okay, next box. Rock wears a fanny pack. Yeah, fanny packs are back wrecks, don't you know? They've, they've been back for probably a few years now. But you can wear them around the waist, just like usual. You can wear them. Uh, you can wear them across the shoulder. Get with, uh, get with today, Rex. Get with the program. Here's George Teague. 242 out of 299 for Green Bay. Travis. Couple CJ Stroud cards. Man, Rex, Rex stuck in the past. I thought you're, at least your kids would be wearing them, but maybe not in, maybe it hasn't hit Indiana yet. And we got Delaney Walker, 25 out of 75. Amped up. Dual relic and autograph. Gets me kind of amped up. That's EA and the Titans. Kellen Winslow to 175, senior.
And we got a midnight to 75, Bryce Young. Nice. These are on a slightly thicker cardstock here. Wait, you didn't make that okay? <laughs> Caleb Williams purse is a thing? It's probably not actually a purse, right? CJ Strouds. Uh, I'm looking at. Is that a Chanel logo on there? No, that's kind of a cool looking uh, messenger bag there, a satchel. It's Boomer size into 75. Jim Everett, 60 out of 175. Remember when Jim Rome kept calling Jim Everett Chris Everett, like the tennis player, the female, the women's tennis player? I think she goes like Chrissy Everett now on the ESPN broadcast. But, but uh, Jim Everett didn't like that. I guess he wasn't as confident in his masculinity to just let it go, but... <laughs> he went across 10. Jim Rose, he's a radio talk show guy. He's not like a big dude. Jim Everett actually is a big dude. There's, it's when Jim, when Jim Rome was trying to do a lot of, trying to get into TV. He's always tried to get, in, get break into TV. It's never really worked out for him. But but yeah, that got Jim Everett left over the table and tried to, try to tackle him. I think he's still doing syndicated radio uh, in some markets, but I think they also simulcast on CBS Sports. So if you look at whatever, whenever his radio time is, um, he, he's not on local LA radio anymore. At least not in the hours that I'm, maybe he is. I don't think so though, not in the hours that I'm awake. But they'll simulcast him on, on TV. So that he'll do his radio show and then he'll still be on CBS Sports. So every once in a while, I'll still, I'll still catch him on TV. Here's a Doug Flutie. 11 out of 149. Flutie Flakes going to the Bills. Tim.
Yeah, at the height of his powers, Jim Rome had a really good sense of... Uh, a really good sense of, of, of radio, building an audience, that sort of stuff. Here's a grounded to 50 DeMarco Murray. That and the Emmett Smith will go to D.Y. and Dallas. Is Ed too tall, Jones too tall to 325? There's C.J. Stroud. And one out of 12, Joe Montana, Midnight. It's a nice one for the Niners. Zane, nice low number on that one. Stephen Davis to 75. There's a good chance I'm probably missing some cards that might have numbers on the back, so all cards ship. There's Anthony Munoz to 250. So I would just, when you, whenever you get these, I would just double check these cards on the back just to find the numbered ones. But. I think anything that's like could be a one of one, I think, would be pretty obvious. I think we'll be able to spot those quickly. All right. Three boxes in, three boxes go, and then pick your team four coming up after this. You know, I I never got into Game of Thrones. But uh But I did uh I did kind of binge Rings of Power over the weekend. I blasted through season one just to kind of get a feel for it again and then then uh, dove into and then finished off season or the first few episodes of season two season two is pretty pretty good I think it suffers from the same if you didn't like the vibes of season one you're probably not going to like season two. Um, just kind of a lot going on. It's visually pretty stunning. The acting's quite good too. But it's a lot to keep. It's a big universe. There's a lot to keep, keep track of. The action sequences are great. I mean, you know, so it, it's pretty, I mean, it's worth watching. It's not like it's bad. Some people try to say it's, it's, it's not bad. It's just, what are you gonna do with, you know, you only have so many episodes and so many hours, you know, and they're only, tr only trying to do like, what, eight episodes a year or something like that. And it's kind of, You know, here's a Steve Young mini diamond, which is not numbered, unless I'm blind. Yeah, just mini diamonds. It's worth watching. 
but you've got to you've got to go through like the you know the Galadriel storyline with the Elrond storyline with the Ring storyline and the Sauron storyline and this. I mean, it's going to be a task to 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 pull. I mean, I'm sh I'm assuming they're going to pull it all together, but it's going to be a task. It's Maurice Jones drew. Here's Keenan McCardell, Jaguars. It'll be for Joe. But still early in the season. I feel like they kind of have to... Yeah, I mean, listen, yeah, everyone wants... You know, everyone wants Peter Jackson, Lord of the Rings, but... You know, those, are, those series, there's so much... Well, there's no book to go off of, you know, like... They had the three different books for the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and so you have a lot of source material where you can do that. This is a little bit more based off of, you know, the wishes of the Lord of the, the, the Tolkien estate plus the Silmarillion, whatever that book is called. Uh, there's John with the Patriots. You know, so when you have sort of limited source material and then you're taking, you know, oh, here's a four out of five, Sean Alexander, nice. Joe Lawson, Seahawks. Joe went to bed a little bummed out about the, his team draw, but hey, how about an old school running back, a good bruiser right here, who's really good, all etch out of five, and a train whistle, Joe. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. But yeah, so once you start kind of expanding that universe outside of what what's in canon, what Tolkien had wrote, sort of, you know, you're always going to get some pushback from what others want it to be or what your, what your head canon says that that was supposed to be. 41 out of 50, Jerry Rice. Met the cutest girl the other day, dressed up as Gandalf for Halloween. She's your kind of girl. Someone who dresses up as an old wizard is Logan's thing. I'm assuming you meant, do you mean Gandalf? Great. I mean, she likes Lord of the Rings. That would be a good, uh, good girl to lock down. 69 out of 299, Herman Moore, Detroit. Adam. There's Anthony Richardson. Behind the old beard, an attractive woman. It's a nice surprise. Oh, a sexy Gandalf. I thought she leaned into like a proper Gandalf. So then she's just a sexy wizard at that point, not necessarily Gandalf. Good that she didn't go elf though. Usually, uh, usually people who want to like, you know, the people who want to like uh, do Halloween, Lord of the Rings Halloween costume, the girls are always like, you know what? We're gonna do sexy elf. That's usually how it goes. You know, then you're like, all right. Yeah, that's what everyone does. But if you're doing sexy Gandalf, I guess, I suppose that's, there's some creativity there. I didn't know, I did not see the South Park where they trolled everyone today saying that Tolkien was actually Tolkien. Not 
Donovan McNabb to 50 for the Eagles. Bruce Smith to 250 for the Bills. I want winners. I want players that want to win. Anthony Richardson, 65 out of 99. Tops Chrome. Black look looks really cool. It's going to be for uh, Matt and the Colts. Bryce Young and Steve Grogan, 42 out of 50. For the Pat Riots, that's going to go to John, the Patriots. Richardson. And there's Jason Seahorn. Remember him? Giants. That's going to go to Bob and the New York Football Giants. Darren Sproles to 275. Bryce Young, Bryce Young. Much like Chronicles, there are a lot of numbered cards here. I think in the next break, I'm going to sleeve all these after the video, just to save a little time on the video. But Neil Anderson to 50. There's Fred Taylor to 325, but I've already started the precedent of sleeving all these things. Um, now I'm stuck. Got Chad Johnson. Ocho Cinco going to Thomas in Cincinnati. Zamir White is your starting uh, quarter, starting uh, running back for the Raiders. He's QB1. I believe he is backed up by Alexander Madison. And uh, Amir Abdullah, I think you might see on, on passing downs. Unless until Zamir White emerges that he can be a three down back. Which he could be. Third year? Second year? Third year. Last year was the second year. So first year, he basically redshirted. I think he, Josh Jacobs actually had a pretty great season. And didn't really play much. Um... And, uh, and then... I think um, second year also started the first half of the season not playing much, but Josh Jacobs, you know, kind of had some injuries. And uh, Zamir White kind of took over for the last handful of three or four games and uh, kind of really started to come into that role. Jacobs, yeah, I like Josh Jacobs a lot. He just has to, like all running backs, he's got to stay healthy. If he's healthy, he's going to be great. And I think A.J. Dillon went down, right? Isn't A.J. Dillon still on the Packers? So there, there might be a lot, of, a lot of carries for Josh Jacobs.
Eli Manning to 75. Roger Staubach to 250 for Dallas. Yeah, season yeah season ending for AJ Dillon. All right, I didn't really have season ending. Uh, Rob, uh, Rob Gronkowski to ninety nine. Gronk. Serving in Afghanistan, I was hit by a sniper fire, and I was given a five percent chance to live. It's a good thing math wasn't my best subject. Today, I visit classroom and share my. Anthony story. Richardson. And speaking of the Raiders, Howie Long, silver and black patch, three out of three. Raiders. That's going to go to Jerry and my Raiders. Nice. Nice one. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Get to these. Uh, Rod Woodson to 249. I'm going to sleeve, sleeve all of those up at the end of the video. That's what I should have done starting with this break. There's Dan Marino to 99. CJ Stroud, CJ Stroud. Ray Lewis, what time is it? Game time, 399. CJ Stroud, CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud. Jonathan Ogden. Ravens autograph to 199. Little color match too for the purple birds. It's going to go to Matt. And that is that. John Riggins at the end there. And there is uh, Picker Team 3, Picker Team 4 coming up after this. A lot of numbered cards, a lot of fun stuff here. And here is a quick autograph recap. Got the, you know, got the Howie Long, the Chad Johnson, the Sean Alexander to four out of five, the out of 12 Joe Montana, Flutie Flakes, Jim Everett, Delaney Walker. A lot of great stuff here. To 10 Devin Hester, Antonio Gates, to Marco Murray started things off. There you go, my friends. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.